Hey y'all, this is Andrew at Plainview Farm, and it's another hot, humid day here in southern Missouri. But that's okay, because I'm wearing my camo shorts. And naturally, I can't think of anything else to do today but go pick up some hay that we bought from the neighbors. As I'm sure you can see here, we have the tractor with trailer on it. Also have the truck sitting over there with a, another smaller trailer on it. I bought 12 and a half bales, so between these two trailers, the tractor and the truck, we should be able to make it in maybe two trips, with the tractor at least. The truck should probably only take one trip. We'll just have to see whenever we get over there and I get started loading stuff onto the trailer. Of course, I still haven't got the air fixed in the cab, so we have windows open, the doors propped open for airflow. If you've ever ridden in a cab tractor without air, you know it's miserable. Here we go. My wife's gonna drive the truck and follow behind me.
this might be kind of tricky not having anything to push against uh, as far as having the trailer hooked up to something but we'll figure it out Knocked the trailer off the block there, but I don't think that's going to be a bad thing. I'll probably have to load two from the front and then two from the back. That one was heavy. All right, I got this trailer loaded. Now I'm gonna grab one more with the tractor and then we're gonna put the trailer back on the tractor, head back to the house, unload this trailer, come back and get our next load which will also be the last load. First, I gotta set this back on. Put the block back under. Take this load home, unload it, and come back and get the second load. Made it home with the first load on the truck and the tractor. Now I just need to get the tractor unloaded, or the trailer unloaded that's on the tractor. And we'll go back and get the last load. And I don't know, it's pretty hot. We'll see what we do then. So I'm gonna try something here as far as unloading this that may or may not be a good idea. Wish me luck.
I guess that didn't go too bad. I do have a couple bales here that uh, string didn't wrap them very well, so I had to be kind of careful with. I say kind of careful with. And then one of them that, that does have, I was told about, that does have a little bit of string in it. So whenever I actually get all the hay here and kind of get it situated how I want it, uh, I'll try to put those two out toward the front and I'll feed those first. So here we go for round two. Well, the second load is on and I just noticed something. Had a tire go flat. Gonna have to be careful. Hope it doesn't come off the rim. Well, I made it back and my tire is still on the rim, so that's a plus. And I waited a little while for, well, the sun to go down a little bit and things to cool off. And now I'm gonna stack these bales out or, or just kind of set them out. I say stack, they're really not gonna be stacked. They're just gonna be set out here. Uh, set out here where I put my hay, that's what I'm trying to say. First thing I have to do is move my drag.
All right, so I guess I'll kind of explain what I'm doing here. Um, I am laying the bales out end to end, okay? Because the bales will shed water off of the top. Uh, if they were net wrapped, they would shed water better. Um, but even, even the string wrap bales will, or string tie bales will shed water off of the sides, the top and the sides. Um, but we want to keep the ends covered up as much as we can. So we lay the hay out end to end. You butt it end to end, bale to bale, and lay them out. That way, uh, that way it, it maintains the quality of the bale at least somewhat. You, you have less loss um, doing that. And I put the first two bales in this row. Uh, this will probably be the first row that I feed out of. The first one, you can see, has a little bit of string mixed in with the bale, which I think I mentioned earlier in the video that I, I knew about that, I was told about that, so it wasn't a surprise or anything. And then uh, another bale that didn't, uh, the string didn't hold on it. So put those two first, those will be the first two that I feed when feeding begins, whether that is in a couple weeks or, well, this year, I actually, or this past winter, I didn't feed until January. So, um, unless we get some rain, I'm probably going to be feeding in a couple weeks. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know the method to my madness here. Well, there you have it. We've at least got a start on this year's hay supply. As always, I hope you found this video useful. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. I got a tire to fix.